The Calvert County, Maryland Commissioner's Reports is a headline news podcast provided in part by the Calvert County Communications and Media Relations Division. Commissioner's Reports provides highlights from the Calvert County Board of County Commissioners, county government departments, and key government agencies. Commissioner's Reports covers regional happenings affecting Calvert County citizens, upcoming community events, and news. Hello, and welcome to Commissioner's Reports. I'm your host, Kevin G. Schmidt. In this week's Calvert County Board of Commissioners meeting, proclamations. The U.S. Congress officially designated the month of May as Asian Pacific American Heritage Month in 1992. The BOCC desires to bring attention to this important celebration by inviting our community to learn more about and appreciate Asian Pacific American culture. Title IX. Title IX of the Education Amendments of 1972 is the federal law that prohibits discrimination on the basis of sex in schools and colleges receiving federal financial assistance. Calvert County has two major educational institutions covered by Title IX, the Calvert County Public School System and the College of Southern Maryland. Title IX has opened educational opportunities for women and girls, including admission to the undergraduate, graduate and professional schools, equal opportunities in school sports, and protections from sexual harassment and violence. A major purpose of the Calvert County Commission for Women is to promote equal educational opportunities for women and girls. The BOCC proclaimed June 2022 be known as, quote, celebrate 50 years of Title IX month, end quote, in Calvert County. Natalia Aaron Nizal, resident of Port Republic, attends Capital Gymnastics National Training Center in Burke, Virginia, and is a seventh grader at Calvert Middle School. Natalia participated in the 2022 Virginia State Level 9 Gymnastics Championships, receiving first place on the balance beam with a 9.175, naming her the 2022 Virginia State Champion. Natalia was then invited to participate in the 2022 Region 7 Level 9 Gymnastics Championship in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, receiving second place on balance beam with a 9.40 among the states of Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, West Virginia, Delaware, and Virginia. The BOCC presented a proclamation as a tribute to Natalia's diligent work, determination, and her outstanding, commendable accomplishments. Appointments. Alicia Abrush and Patricia Melville were reappointed to the Heritage Committee. Two vacancies remain. In public hearing, Department of Community Resources, FY23, CD, BG, application. The Department of Community Resources is coordinating an application for $800,000 in community development block grant funding to acquire and renovate 85 Main Street, Prince Frederick, and expand homeless services in Calvert County. The Department of Community Resources oversees Calvert County's freezing weather plan, an annual planning process coordinated with the Department of Public Safety and the Calvert County Sheriff's Office to ensure the safety of citizens during extreme winter weather. The county has a documented need for an emergency weather shelter due to an inadequate number of beds in local shelters and Safe Nights Freezing Weather Program. After no public comment was received, staff recommended and the BOCC approved this project as a CIP in the FY 2023 budget. Awards Laura Karen Gibbons, Parks and Recreation Building Coordinator and Therapeutic Recreation Aid, was selected as the May 2022 Employee of the Month. Patty Ryan, Office on Aging Aging Services Fiscal Manager, was selected for a Pride and Quality Award. Patty is recognized for her far-reaching community impact, resulting from her coordination of Meals on Wheels and the Calvert County Office on Aging Tax Programs, which serve hundreds of Calvert seniors each year. During a recent site visit, the state coordinator for the tax program noted that under Patty's leadership, the Calvert program, quote, was in full compliance with privacy, security, confidentiality and device care, information and resources, intake slash review and return preparation, quality review, and compliance with the COVID safety protocol, end quote, requirements. During COVID, Patty provided oversight for a team that delivered over 51,000 meals to seniors' doorsteps. Additionally, Patty recently secured approval from the Maryland Department of Aging for an $800,000 capital grant to expand the Calvert Pine Senior Center. The expansion will provide a new social services suite and support major building and stormwater code upgrades. 
The Team Excellence Award recognizes employees who have excelled as a group and displayed cooperation and teamwork in support of a common goal or project. The Employee Recognition Committee is pleased to recognize the following employees for a Team Excellence Award. Parks and Recreation, Detoria Jacks, Linda Jones, James, Nate Smith, and Technology Services, UA Pappas, and Stephen Perry. In Old Business, Department of Parks and Recreation, Golf Course Clubhouse, Budget Adjustment. The Chesapeake Hills Golf Course was obtained by Calvert County in 2008. The clubhouse was demolished in May of 2019. Funding was allocated for design and construction, with the project going out to construction bid in 2022. With the pricing of construction increasing, the project's cost has increased. Staff recommended the BOCC approve budget adjustment 2017 to appropriate and allocate $3,175,000 for the construction of the clubhouse at Chesapeake Hills Golf Course through a loan from the general fund of $3 million and by moving $175,000 from account, Holling Point Park Restroom Snack Stand Construction. The loan will be repaid annually through an unsecured promissory note beginning in FY 2024. After discussion, the BOCC approved the budget adjustment. In a consent calendar, Department of Community Resources, Public Transportation, FY 2022, ARPA grant agreements, amounting in the total of $315,003 to support operations in response to the pandemic. Department of Public Works, United States Geological Survey Joint Funding Agreement related to real-time collection of water levels in the Aquia Aquifer from July 1st, 2022 through June 30th, 2023. Department of Finance and Budget Award Recommendation, Pavement Overlay and Maintenance Provider for the Department of Public Works. Department of Finance and Budget Award Recommendation to provide and deliver sodium hypochlorite solution 15% on an as-needed basis for various plants operated by the Division of Water and Sewerage and pools operated by the Department of Parks and Recreation. All agenda items were adopted as presented. In new business, Department of Finance and Budget, Board of Education, for request to increase the FY22 restricted budget for $6,074,068.64 in federal awards and other programs that were not outlined in the BOE's operating budget in FY22. The purpose of these grants is to provide funding for expenses related to COVID-19. The funds will be used to pay for summer school, after-school tutoring, equipment, and materials of instruction. Department of Finance and Budget Award Recommendation Chesapeake Hills Golf Course Clubhouse Construction. The Chesapeake Hills Golf Course Clubhouse Construction consists of approximately 8,150 square feet of a single-story clubhouse with a mechanical mezzanine, administrative, bar and grill, commercial kitchen, caterer's kitchen, pro shop, and support. The work also includes site-slash-civil, general construction, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, and fire protection engineering. Three bids were received and opened during a virtual bid opening on February 23, 2022. The bids were thoroughly reviewed, and the lowest apparent bidder was WM Davis Inc., who met all requirements, specifications, and has satisfactorily provided service for the county in the past. After discussion, the BOCC voted and awarded the contract to the lowest responsive bidder, WM Davis Inc. of Hollywood, Maryland, for the base bid in the amount of $5,732,435 in unit pricing if required and approved by the county, and approved a contingency for unforeseen changes or modifications in the amount of $573,243.50. Department of Finance and Budget, adoption of the FY23 operating and capital budget. The BOCC approved a $342 million fiscal year FY 2023 general fund operating budget. FY 2023 begins July 1st, 2022. The general fund budget for FY 2023 is a balanced budget and reflects an increase of approximately $14.1 million in compared to the FY 2022 adopted general fund budget. The increase includes $4.5 million in additional income tax revenue, $1.5 million in property tax revenue, a $1.7 million transfer from capital projects, and a $6.4 million increase from other revenue categories, including a health insurance reimbursement. 12.3 million of the increased revenues will be used to provide additional funding to the Board of Education, Sheriff's Office, and Detention Center. Funding towards education remains the primary focus of the budget, which includes nearly 141 million in funding to Calvert County Public Schools and makes up 41% of the general fund operating budget. 
and 37% of the six-year capital project's budget. The current funding is $6.6 million, over the state-required maintenance of effort funding level. The FY 2023 budget also continues to address public safety as a priority, with eight new positions for the county's career emergency medical services, one employee for emergency management, and one employee for the state's attorney's office. 17 other positions were added to various departments to provide improved services for citizens. This budget includes one salary step, one restorative step, a market adjustment, and a 4% cost of living adjustment for county employees. Two public hearings were conducted, the first on March 22, 2022, and the second, May 17, 2022, to present and receive public comment on the staff recommended budget and the county commissioner's budget for FY 23. After discussion, the BOCC closed the record and approved the FY23 budget and related tax rates and fees. Residents are encouraged to review the approved budget online. For more information on the FY2023 budget, contact the Calvert County Department of Finance and Budget at 410-535-1600. Work Sessions Department of Planning and Zoning, Text Amendment Case TA-22-01, Amendments to the Calvert County and Solomon's Town Center Zoning Ordinances to permit assisted living center facilities within the D1 subdistrict. The text amendment would also correct an error in the county's online e-code, in which assisted living facilities are listed as permitted use within the D1 subdistrict of the Solomons Town Center, but is not in the adopted Calvert County Ordinance. The BOCC directed staff to schedule a work session with the Planning Commission to begin the public adoption process. Department of Planning and Zoning, Calvert County Comprehensive Plan slash Town Center Expansions, the current Calvert County Comprehensive Plan, Calvert 2040, was adopted by the BOCC in August 2019. In 2013, state law was enacted that changed the review cycle of comprehensive plans from six years to 10 years. Currently, the Prince Frederick Master Plan and Zoning Ordinance is being updated by the Planning Commission with assistance from county staff. Updating the Prince Frederick Master Plan, adopted by the BOCC in 1989, includes updating it to be consistent with the comprehensive plan. The BOCC and the Planning Commission held a joint public hearing on April 28, 2022 on proposed text amendment cases to several cases. During the public comment section of the public hearing, several speakers expressed concerns about the expansion of the Prince Frederick Town Center as called for in the comprehensive plan. After staff's presentation, the BOCC directed staff to bring back alternative future land use options for Huntingtown. Prince Frederick, and Lusby Town Centers. Department of Public Works, Special Tax District Petition of the Highlands Homeowners Association. The Highlands Homeowners Association, HHOA, has petitioned the county to create a special tax district, assessing a special tax upon all improved properties in the Highlands community, both those in the town of Chesapeake and the county, to collect $313,873. This requires a one-time levy of $1,342 per improved lot. The collections would be used on behalf of the HHOA to fund the estimated cost of engineering residential connections for each improved lot to the public sewer for the benefit of the property owners within that subdivision. After a public hearing to solicit input from the homeowners, the BOCC voted to keep the record open until close of business May June 13, 2022. In other Calvert County local news, the Calvert County Board of County Commissioners announces county offices and many services will be closed Monday, June 30th, 2022, in observance of Juneteenth. For a list of services remaining open, please visit the News and Announcements section of the Calvert County Government website and review the press release. The Calvert County Board of Elections is accepting applications for individuals who wish to serve as election judges for the 2022 primary and general elections. No experience is required. Election judges will receive comprehensive mandatory training in advance. In addition, election judges will be compensated for training and for working on early voting and election days. Election judges play an essential role in the election process. Election judges are responsible for administering the voting procedures in each precinct and ensuring that qualified voters can cast their vote privately in a trouble-free environment. For more information, contact the Calvert County Board of Elections office at 410-535-2214, extension 4, or email elections at calvertcountymd.gov. Apply online at www.calvertcountymd.gov forward slash 159 
forward slash election dash judges. That concludes our broadcast. The Calvert County, Maryland Commissioner's Reports is a headline news podcast. Stay current with other news in Calvert County by following and liking the Calvert County Government's Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Calvert County MD, on Instagram at Calvert Broadcast, on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Calvert County Gov, and our official website, www.calvertcountymd.gov. Thank you.